You may dream of a stunning new kitchen, bathroom, or living room, but a complete renovation is just not within your budget's reach. What if I told you that you could achieve a total home refresh without remodeling? In this video, we'll explore 8 ways to update your space without embarking on a full-scale renovation. Without further ado, let's get into it. Painting can have the biggest impact on a dated home. We all know that we can drastically change the look and feel of the space by painting its walls. But there are actually so many other things that you can update with paint as well. For example, if you have a dated 80s, 90s or early 2000s kitchen with wooden cabinets, you can paint them to give your space a facelift on a budget. I find that this was done particularly well in this kitchen, where they painted the originally red tone wooden cabinets taupe as well as in this kitchen where they painted the wooden cabinets and countertops an off-white color and also painted the khaki splashback tiles white with a special tile paint. As you can see, you can instantly modernize a kitchen by painting in neutral colors, but that doesn't mean that you have to stick to neutrals. Don't be afraid to experiment with bolder colors like this kitchen where they painted their shaker cabinets in a pale blue-gray hue to create a Parisian-style cafe scene. The same goes with bathroom vanities. I like how this person has transformed their builder grade vanity by painting it blue to match the existing tiles. I think what's particularly impactful is that they've extended the blue theme onto their walls with navy blue paint to create a really interesting and bold monochromatic look. If that is not really your thing, you can always do a more subdued look like this bathroom where they painted the original wooden vanity a pale blue and painted the wall and bathtub tiles cream. What a lot of people don't realize is that you can paint tiles with a special paint. Don't fall into the trap of thinking that you're stuck with tiles you don't like and that the only way you can change them is by doing a costly renovation. One of the best examples of this that I've ever come across is this bathroom where they painted their original beige and cream floor and wall tiles and the tiles on the side of their bathtub in a white and blue color scheme. It is really cool how they use tile stencil, chalk paint and sealer to get the intricate pattern on the floor. While the steps to painting tiles are quite similar to walls, it requires more care and attention. And of course, a special paint formulated for tiles, as a bathroom is a high moisture environment. If you're looking for a smaller paint job that is just as impactful, consider painting your baseboards, door frames, or window frames a bold color, or even just give them a fresh coat of white paint to brighten up your space. Painting window frames in black can also make a really big impact, especially when contrasted with white walls. Similar to paint, wallpaper can also have a massive impact when updating a dated space. Take a look at this gorgeous bathroom where the owner took full advantage of the yellow tiles which used to look jarring by adding wallpapers, updating the fixtures, and painting the window frame, sash, and grills. Another small thing that you can do is update your doors. There's two main options here. Either completely replace your doors or upgrade the ones you already have by painting them or enhancing them with DIY custom molding. It's really trendy at the moment to have high contrast front doors like this mudroom where they painted their French doors black to pop against the white trims and wall color. It was also done on this front door where they painted it navy to tie in with the navy wallpaper pattern but also to contrast with the white sections of the wallpaper. Many people take the further step of adding DIY molding to transform what were originally flat panel doors so they look more traditional and similar to high-end custom doors. Here's another example of a laundry room that is completely transformed by adding wallpaper, painting the cabinets, doors, and walls. If you want to update your doors but not go to the effort of painting it, I suggest changing out the hardware. You can usually tell the age of a house through its hardware, so updating it is a simple and cost-effective way to bring a modern touch to your space. I think that this front door was drastically improved, not only because it was painted white, but also because they changed the old knob for a golden lever, which really modernized the space. You don't have to just stick to updating the hardware on your front door. You can also update the hardwares on your cabinets, wardrobes, dressers, or vanity. For instance, in addition to painting their vanity black, these people changed out the old wooden knobs for gold pulls, while these people updated their built-in by painting it and then changing out the metal handles for more modern black ones. It gets even better. This kitchen completely changed with just a few minor updates, swapping out the old dated handles, changing the rug, adding a peel and stick backsplash, and styling the countertop, all of which can be done on a reasonable budget without remodeling. If you're updating the hardware in your bathroom, you might as well update your taps or faucets to match as well. I think they did a pretty good job revamping this builder-grade vanity 
by painting it navy blue and replacing the hardware with gold knobs and a gold tab, capturing a classic lakeside and nautical aesthetic. If you're going to do this, make sure that your new tab has a matching hole configuration to the one that is already in place. The good news is that 99% of pots and sinks have industry standard tap hole spacing, so it shouldn't require too much work to replace. But it is always a good idea to double check before buying new fixtures. Builder grade lighting, old dining room chandeliers, and flush mount ceiling lights, especially boob lights, can look really outdated. You really don't have any excuse to not replace these given the wide array of affordable and stunning options readily available these days. In this hallway, swapping out the boob light with flush mounts, painting the walls, and adding a few decor with similar elements as the flush mounts have completely changed the space. You can also see how much of a difference it made swapping out the dated metal pendants in this home. The same old pendant will have looked completely out of place with this newer contemporary furniture. Even just swapping out the dated light fixtures with newer ones like in this dining area can completely change the look of a space while keeping everything the same. If you're going to the effort of changing the fixture, you might as well put in new light bulbs throughout your home. I always suggest 2700 to 3000 Kelvin light bulbs for living rooms, dining rooms, and bedrooms as they are quite warm and create a cozy, inviting, and calm atmosphere. While 3000 to 4000 Kelvin bulbs are perfect for kitchen and bathrooms as you need more alertness and sharper focus. If you want to learn more about lighting, I'd highly recommend watching our How to Light a Space video which is linked down in the description box below. While on the topic of lighting, have a look at your outlets and light switch covers. Are they looking old, yellow, cracked, or stained? It may be a good time to install new ones. Ivory plates used to be the standard, but with white becoming more common, Ivory ones tend to look outdated and dirty. Even if you installed white ones, the PVC may have started to go yellow due to photo and thermal degradation. I typically recommend streamline white light switches and outlets, but if you've got a larger budget, you may look into fancier options like a vintage style brass switch. Alternatively, you can also update just the covers, which is a very easy upgrade without the need to call an electrician. I'll also link some of my favorite options down below in case you're in the market for one. You can also explore high-tech options with the smart switch system. There are quite a few on the market that let you set up automatic lighting and dimming schedules. No matter how much you work on updating your space, neglecting your outdated window treatments will make everything look like it's stuck in the past. I'm talking about vertical blinds, heavy drapes, elaborate valances, ruffled curtains, and sheer lace curtains. It's typically best to offer a minimalistic approach with simple drapery and clean lines. Think roller blinds, Roman shades, or custom sheer curtains. Even buying simple ready-made curtains from your local store and installing them on a high and wide curtain rod will work well. A good example of this is this home. Yes, they've done a lot to improve the living room, but replacing the dated pattern curtains to white ones and positioning the simple black rod higher has drastically improved the space, giving the impression of larger windows and higher ceilings. I also think that it was a good move changing the timber Venetian blinds to pattern Roman blinds in this dining room, which goes really well with the new color scheme. If you're still not sold because other elements in the room are also improved, then have a look at this one. A simple wall and trim paint and replacing the curtain completely changes this room. You can make an even bigger impact by combining several different small upgrades that we've talked about which you can see in this bedroom. A fresh coat of paint, swapping out the dated light fixtures, and replacing the odd vertical blinds into Roman blinds. Carpet has a lifespan of 10 to 15 years, so if yours is older than that, it may be time to change it. You may be tempted to replace it with a similar product, but I actually suggest swapping your carpet for a hard flooring as it is much easier to clean, looks better, and generally lasts longer. You can see how much of an improvement it was changing the dark gray carpet in this family room and dining room to timber flooring. I also think it is quite effective how they've added area rugs to bring back a sense of warmth and also ground the furniture. Here's another example from one of my recent projects, where we changed the carpets, added new window furnishings, and painted the wall. It completely transformed this dated apartment. Hardwood is best, but if you want something a bit more affordable, engineered timber flooring is also a great option. Otherwise, look into vinyl planks as they're much cheaper and relatively low maintenance. In older homes, you may even be lucky to have real hardwood flooring underneath your carpet that only needs to be sanded and stained to bring it back to life. 
It always baffles me when I see people covering up real hardwood floors with carpets, but you have one that is looking dated, remember that you can simply sand and stain them, and you'll be surprised by how good they can look. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our video on low maintenance home and impractical design trends. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.